the second big shift that goes with it that has to do with how entrepreneurs think is about whether they are market driven in their business actions or whether they are self driven. See, most people get in business for all the wrong reasons. They get in business because they want to do something. So the auto mechanic, he opens his own shop for no reason other than the fact he wants to have his own auto shop and he doesn't want a boss telling him when he can go to lunch anymore. Somebody gets into the pet grooming business because they like hanging out with little furry creatures. Right? And they decide to get in the pet grooming business. That's how most people get in business. If you start to think about it, it may be how you got in business. Other people get in business by accident. Their job morphs into a business, a friend is in a business, whatever. And then almost all of their subsequent decisions are made the same way. They're made in a very childish way based on what I want to do. We had a member some years ago in one of my coaching groups who, uh, who, who sold his profitable and lucrative business that he had almost on a whim, moved across the country to a small, picturesque seaport town to open a little gift shop because that's what he wanted and had always wanted to do. Not paying any attention to the fact there were already four gift shops there, they're very entrenched, the market's only so large, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So totally operating out of want to. That's the same way a child operates. Right? They make all their decisions purely based on what they want to do. You won't get rich with a childish approach to business. Won't happen. Right? See, the market, the market is a very rational cause and effect thing that could care less what you want. The market doesn't care that you have five kids who need to go to college. The market does not care that you've always wanted to live in a seaport and have a little gift shop or have a bed and breakfast like Bob Newhart on TV. Right? See, the market does not care about that one whit. Only you wake up in the morning thinking about that. No customer wakes up thinking about that. No prospective customer wakes up thinking about that. It's not even on their C list. So you have to get to your goals differently. And you get there fastest, best, most profitably by being market driven. So entrepreneurs are market driven. What does that really mean? It means in a sense they reverse engineer. So they don't start with what they want, they start with what the market wants. They start with unmet needs, unmet desires what I call an opportunity gap. Some segment of the market in a particular category of product, service, or interest that is not being directly catered to. Okay. And so they find a space, a place, where there's reason for them to believe they can step in and be successful. I talked about, like right now in the hotel industry, okay, some resorts are scurrying. See, there's been like a big demographic change in the past 10 years that has to do with affluence and mass affluence and uh, a whole baby boomer uh, affluent group for whom their kids have finally moved away. They actually went to college and didn't move back. Um, and for them, their pets are becoming their kids. And so uh, there's a whole now industry of pet restaurants and pet hotels and there's gaps here that so I, I talked about it on the call last night there's a two million dollar ten thousand square foot pet hotel being in resort being built in Miami it's only for dogs and cats okay? and, 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 and it has a disco so the, they take the so they take the little dogs and cats to the disco at night so they can hang out in the disco and, 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 and and they have masseuses and, you know, uh, they have aromatherapy, which if you've heard Ron White's joke about that, I won't repeat it. Um, 
Uh, so this is a $2 million, 10,000 square foot facility for, for dogs and cats. Now, so it's at the very high end. Okay. Now, I, th I happen to think its, it's developer is right, not wrong. I think she has identified a segment of the market that is not served at the moment in South Beach by lesser groomers and lesser places you can leave your dog if you go on a trip and so forth. And so this is about finding a unique space and then catering to your personal preferences as well, but starting with the question of who will give me money, right? Because really business is all about who will give me money. And so entrepreneurs are very market driven. They're paying attention to what the market wants, what the market needs, what the market will spend money for, how the market is evolving. So what the market's going to look like 12 months from now, 24 months from now, 36 months from now, not what the market looks like right now so that they can carve out a position where they can be successful. That's a very entrepreneurial thing to do. It's not a business owner thing to do. And so the first of the 10 big shifts is when you really start to think and act and strategize like an entrepreneur, not like a typical business owner.